Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center. Coming at you with your stretch break of the week. Today's stretch break, we're gonna go over four stretches that can all be done standing. You should be able to do these just about anywhere. All you're gonna to need to do these is just a wall. And so to start off, um, we're gonna put our hands on the wall. So you're kind of outstretched, you're gonna hinge your hips back. So notice in this position, my belly is tight, my elbows are straight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one hand, place it behind my ear. I'm gonna bring it, this elbow towards the floor. And then what I'm aiming for is these thoracic extensions, keeping my belly nice and tight. I'm gonna to try to get as much rotation through that mid to upper back as possible. I'm holding just for a second or two. I'm going in and out of this, trying to aim for about 10 on each side. And once, of course, once you get 10 on one side, you're gonna switch. 10 on the other, and ideally you're able to feel a little bit more of this rotation as I go through these repetitions. So big inhale at the bottom, exhale as you come up, belly stays tight the whole time. Once you've got 10 on each side, then you're going to move to the next one, which again is going to be using the wall for assistance. What I want you to do is you're gonna cross your ankle over on the opposite thigh. So we're in a figure four set up here. And then we're gonna do what we call Hawaiian squats. So we're gonna get a dynamic stretch through the hip, through the, uh, excuse me, through the glute and the piriformis muscle, which typically get really tight from all the sitting we do. And so from here, what you're gonna do is you're just going to drop your hips down. I'm kind of breaking at the hips and knees at the same time. I'm gonna hold that bottom position just for a second or two. And we're gonna aim for five on one side, five on the other. And then let me switch to this side. And so again, I'm keeping my belly tight here and I'm grabbing that uh, floor with my foot. And then as I sit down and back into this, I wanna make sure that I'm not letting that knee kind of rotate out to the side. I wanna just try to sit straight back with it and obviously if you're a little bit more flexible than I am through the hips, you may be able to get lower, but work within your range of motion. And then once you get five on both sides with that, you're gonna to move to the third stretch that we have today, which is going to be a staggered chest stretch. So what you're gonna do, palm is gonna go flat against the floor or against the wall. Elbow is about 90 degrees, both uh, away from the torso, and then my elbow is gonna be 90 degrees as well. Then from here, I'm gonna take a staggered stance. So my inside leg is gonna come forward. And then what I wanna do is I want to keep my shoulder blade down and back, and then I wanna lean forward. You're gonna feel that stretch all through the chest, as well as the front of the shoulder. And of course, you can change the angle so you can come down a little bit, maybe hang here for about 10 seconds. You can go up a little bit, hang here for about 10 seconds. Spend about 30 to 60 seconds on both arms and then once you've got those done you're going to move to the fourth and final one where we're going to hit some quad and a hip flexor so we're going to go quad stretch first so this is your typical simple quad stretch that you've probably been doing since grade school grab the ankle ensure that you are pushing your hip forward and squeezing your glute and then i'm bringing that knee in towards the midline of my body we're going to enhance this just a little bit and we're going to add a little bit of balance to this as well by taking the arm up overhead. Now when I take the arm up overhead, I'm aiming for straight elbow, but I'm also aiming for not allowing my ribs to flare. So stay tight through that midsection as you come up and you're holding this for 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Now if you're gonna do this before a workout, it would actually be better for you to go for reps here. So instead of holding that statically, I'm gonna catch my balance, and then I'm gonna just hold for like a two count, and I would alternate on each side about 10 times. Um, so you've got an option there. If you're doing this you know, in the morning, middle of the day, kind of to break up your day, and to really kind of loosen up, um, then I would definitely suggest doing that hold. If you're gonna do it prior to a workout, turn that a little more dynamic and actually go for those reps. All right, guys, so now that we run through those, hopefully that's gonna help you feel 
nice and loose to tackle whatever you have going for the day, and we'll see you next time.